This is the walkthrough on today's job. I'll be doing two bedrooms, a loft area, and an area rug at the entry of the home. These carpets are kind of a dark olive uh, green color. They do have some natural sun or UV fading in some of the areas. You can kind of clearly see it. There is some soil in the traffic areas. We'll be taking care of all that today. I'm not going to be stretching the carpets. They do need a stretch, but look at that view and the way this custom home is laid out is actually pretty incredible. So I got my commercial vacuum, my Hoover Hush Tone, and I'm going to begin with step number one, a thorough vacuuming. And I do need to move the bed and that exercise equipment as I go along. There's the entry. Look at those custom stairs coming up to the little catwalk area. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I've got them all pre-vacuumed thoroughly. And now I'm going to pre-spray it. I will share with you my chemical of choice at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to set up the Orbot Vibe and knock this job out. I will be using Superzorb pads today. Superzorb pads are basically a 50-50 blend, cotton and poly, or polyester. And they tend to work really well. I mean, they're actually the recommended pad for the Orbot Vibe. You can see they're really, really thick type towel material. And they do a great job. So I'll get the machine on it. Get my cord put in place. And we'll hit it. So stay tuned.
And for those of you that uh, put a guess in the comments on the contest I'm doing on the jar full of change, I will be going to uh, my local Walmart and they have a coin star there and I'll be putting all of the coins in there and I'll videotape it so you could see the exact numbers. Then I'll go back through the comments in the order that they were received first to last and we will find either an exact match or the closest to the actual number. And then I'll get a hold of you and we'll send you your prizes. So I look forward to doing that this Friday. And yes, I don't know why I put that towel in my mouth. <laughs> oh, Polly, what are you doing? All it is, I, I hadn't used it yet for anything. There was actually no spotting to be done. So it was a clean white washcloth, and I think I just set it up in my mouth while I was uh, using two hands. So anyway, enough of that. I'm going to go back and forth, get this looking good. I did move this, uh, I don't know what type of machine it is, I think you hang upside down on it and do uh, sit-ups or something. Anyway, I'll pull that out and I'll get under that as well. So stay tuned.
Alrighty then, you can see I've got my beautiful triangles laid out with the Rug Renovator grooming brush. I think I purchased it on Amazon. It's called a Rug Renovator. You can see the wheel lines just on the edges of the triangles. It has wheels which makes it very easy and there's an aggressive side and a softer side. So depending how deep you want your triangles, you can flip it over. You can also use it as a pre-agitation brush instead of using uh, a brush on the bottom of your machine. And there's the entry, came out beautiful. Remember that entry on the first step was almost dark, dark brown. It's a beautiful olive green. I did put together a collage and text message this to my client so that he knows I am gonna be done in about 15 to 20 minutes. He can return to the home and I can get paid and go to my next job.